so let's start with this so what i'm going to do is uh, I, you can enter any folder you want but i'm going to enter the i folder uh, because that's where i want my folder to be so what i'm going to do is you come on this block it's given in the link in the description or like in the comment box just copy this page and just copy this code how to execute inside how to execute the code just copy this and paste it here and uh, it'll execute and it'll ask you a simple question would you like to do this in typescript so on the rainbow kit uh, you just have to say no and enter and then yes just enter so what this is in rainbow kit it is already given you know how to give a direct command using typescript but i am not going to go that way because i am yet to learn uh, typescript so we'll just go with this and let's look at this command what we wrote here so this is like npx you need to have node installed for this and every single space you leave is like every single space you leave is like a different things which need to be executed so uh, if, for example if you name your app connect and space wallet then it will kind of m malfunction so always try to remember that do not leave spaces this is the name of your app so this connect wallet is actually name of your app so what this is doing is npx is creating a next app whose name is connect wallet so do not leave space between them also the standardized it should be capital w but according to recent some uh, like recent standards uh, in the rainbow kit we cannot use the capital w it's a convention so just forget about it. just name it like this and do not leave spaces or else it will not execute okay so uh, after this executes uh, once this is executed okay so it is executed now we'll go to our next function so it is just cd means just going into the file which we created so you see here right we connect uh, did uh, connect wallet so we are cd into seeding into that file so basically we are going inside that folder so i'll write or instead of writing what you can do is just copy paste okay you don't need to uh, do all the hard work which i had to do earlier on so i, I just uh, wrote pasted that command and it ordered automatically went inside the connect wallet folder now the next command which is is this so we'll copy this and we'll paste it here so as soon as i paste it uh, it will start executing this folder so what this is doing is see uh, a node needs to be installed again and see these every single space you leave is a different function to be executed so it is uh, npm is installing something this is one function then after space rainbow kit it is installing rainbow kit and all the related things then it is separately installing wagme and then it is separately installing ethers so do not leave space between them okay uh, sorry leave space between them because these are different codes different part of different codes so uh, i think this will be executed and i'll come back to you guys uh, in a minute so guys i think this has executed as well so our next command will be to type code dot so you just copy this and just paste it here and code dot uh, is like a space needs to be between uh, needs to be there between the code and the dot okay so it will open a vs code so you also need apart from node.js you'll need vs code for this so once this is installed uh, you'll go to the pages folder it has app.js and index.js so uh, let me go down below in the code and i'll say uh, uh, delete everything in the index.js and copy this below code in the index.js folder so uh, now forget about this okay uh, we don't need this we have code dot and we went to the vs folder so we don't need the cmd and we can you know either cancel it or just leave it right there so we are going to open this and we have inside the pages we have index.js so i'll delete everything so i'll control a so which will select everything and i'll delete it okay uh, now I, all i'm saying is inside the index.js just copy this and we'll go to the vs folder again and inside index.js i'll paste it everything which i copied from there and i'll control s save for this okay and next what we are going to do is uh, we'll go to the app.js underscore app uh, uh, underscore app.js so we'll copy this folder and we'll go to the app.js we did this in uh, index.js yes. now we'll go to app.js and we'll just paste this code and we'll uh, control v and control s is the we'll save this code okay uh, now what we are going to do is uh, after we have copy pasted this thing now we are going to 
bring the terminal okay so either you can bring terminal by going to terminal and clicking on new terminal or there is this uh, this control plus uh, uh, back tick so back tick is this one if you see back tick is this one you see this you see this uh, back tick this is back tick so just control plus that and it will open your terminal that's a keyboard shortcut and next you are going to do is just copy this command and uh, just paste it here and it is going to execute uh, npm run dev and your uh, host has started so basically what you are going to do is press the control key and while pressing it click on this okay follow link so it will open a local host for you local host is like a deployment website and what this is going to do for you is uh, it will open whatever like uh, all the things and all the functions which we have done and it will open this for us uh, so see it is deployed successfully so i think we can see this in a minute and after this is done what you need to do is uh, you can see your connect button here okay so uh, you'll get this hydration error uh, you might get this you might have seen it other times so uh, i have actually given so after you run this see this is the solution this is my another blog which i have wrote on hydration error so just go to the lower part of this blog uh, i have already given the solution to this you don't really need to if you didn't get this error then there is no problem right so you just need to copy this uh, import and you need to just go into your vs code and inside the app js just paste it here okay if you get the error only if you get the error i happen to always get this error so i'll just paste it here i'll import dynamic from next dynamic and from this other i have given this blog link here right this is the blog link you can see in the original one and the next part is i'll copy this export default okay control c i'll control c and uh, i'll go here and i'll go to the lowest part this and i'll paste it so now just remove this export default because we are going to export it from below and instead of uh, like this thing the name of app we are writing it here that's all we'll do and we'll control plus s we'll save it and see it is running and it has compiled so now that we go back to this uh, then our hydration error will be gone and you can see it i am reloading it as well and there's no hydration error now so i'll click on connect wallet uh, metamask will give us different wallets uh, this is how the rainbow kit wallet looks like so this i have uh, in dark mode so this is how it will look like once i connect the button uh, i'll click on metamask and it will pop up the metamask menu for us and what this is going to do is uh, all you need to do is just sign in and your metamask uh, wallet is already connected from your app and i think that's a uh, good 100 minutes i uh, 100 seconds i think that's good uh, 100 seconds and after you connect this you can see that you have connected you can actually also change the wallet for example if i want to go from ethereum to polygon i'll just click on polygon and it will you know just ask a pop up in my metamask wallet and i can just switch the network and we are good to go i think that's all uh, that's the ease of uh, doing with uh, rainbow kid so uh, and i'll get back to detailed explanation but all you need to do is just follow this blog you don't need to do anything i have written every single step right here open the cmd copy this then next is cd into that wallet into the name of your app that is connect wallet then then again paste this command then next paste this command and just modify remove everything and copy paste this directly so index.js just copy paste this in your app and app.js just copy paste this uh, in your next.js app and uh, just copy paste this and also remember guys that the videos on youtube cannot be changed and once uploaded is uploaded but uh, i'll keep on changing my blogs uh, as time comes and uh, you can just you know remember you can follow me on the blog or something and i'll just keep on updating my blogs because you know youtube videos uh, if there is some kind of update uh, while i was following many different tutorials on youtube some of them became outdated and it was very hard for me to execute so i cannot change my videos but my blogs will consistently change and you can come here and you can always find this code and i'll also give you link to the rainbow official documentation and 
so i think i have already explained this part so you know what these functions are doing uh, in the video itself i'll just go back and explain the index.js and the app.js so what index.js is doing is we are just importing when you created a next app right uh, when you created a next app using this function when you created a next app using this function uh, the styles folder was automatically created so this is the styles folder uh, yeah this is the styles folder which was created in the home.module.css folder automatically so uh, that is the styles which we are going to that's why our button is coming in center right you see this our button is right like right there in the center itself center of the screen so that's why we uh, do i need to connect again yeah so it's it's in the center of our screen right so it's it's for the ease so we are just importing this style and this connect button is given to us by rainbow so rainbow has made this easy for us we are just importing this connect button and we are just displaying it that's all there is in index.js and we just displaying it okay so next is the app.js folder so what is happening is we are importing different things first we are importing uh, rainbow and styles from rainbow so you see all this right uh, you see when I disconnect this and once I click on connect you see all this right this all the colors and all the things this comes from these styles folders okay uh, this is internally done by rainbow so you don't need to know what they have done they have done it for you or oh, that's all there is get default wallet we are importing from rainbow so rainbow has done this internally you are getting wallets and you are getting the rainbow provider rainbow provider is basically a, a wrapper so what is provider provider is something which helps you read from the blockchain that those are providers so so uh, these two things don't uh, it might look confusing earlier but it's just if you write it here and it's it's just single line written like this so it's a single line written like this if you see this is so this now the wagmi from wagmi like rainbow kit is built on top of wagmi and wagmi is built on top of ethers.js so ethers.js is like you must have heard of ethers.js if you are watching this tutorial right now so so configure chains we are taking these functions from wagmi so wagmi has made us these functions one is configure chains another is create client and this is like the wagmi config these are the uh, basically what we are importing from wagmi then we are taking all the different chains from wagmi like the ethereum mainnet chain the polygon optimism rbt you you can also customize them but i didn't went into those right now so uh, import public provider public provider is provider like i told you right it is used for reading of the blockchain so uh, so you can also use alchemy here or infura but we'll go just with the public provider because it's easy to use uh, for someone who is uh, you know beginner in the space so configure chains is a function what is configure chains it's a function which takes two if you see it's just a array okay right this is just a array it takes two arrays uh, one of all the chains and one of provider so these are the input and you see one is all the chains and it has providers next is the get default wallet so it just has uh, you know app name and all the chains so see configure chains from configure chains what we did was we took the chains and these chains were given as input to this get default wallet so what we are doing is we are taking value you uh, like you see how functions execute right from one function we give value to other and so this is happening so there is no errors like usually what would happen is if this this gets executed then uh, something will be missing or like <clears throat> you know async await functions how they work so so first what we do is first we took chains and we had it in this function then from chains we gave it to this function all the chains we got from configure chains we gave it to this function then from this chain we took connectors and from connectors we gave it to this wagmi client and provider is from here i think provider is from configure chain itself so that's what we are doing like we took some value from this function we took some value we gave it to this then again from this we gave it to this and that's how it executed and this is just like you know return and this is our component component basically mean it's our whole app so what these two lines are there for is they wrap the whole component so what would happen in earlier times is 
for for example i have index.js so for index.js i need to separately write uh, that connect my metaverse wallet so i have index.js suppose i have teams.js page about.js page so for every page i need to connect metaverse wallet so the ease of this is once you wrap this is your whole app so this simply means this your whole app is wrapped in rainbow which means that rainbow kit will be present for every single page you load automatically and wagmi will be also present in every single page you load because wagmi requires uh, rainbow requires wagmi right so this simply means that your whole app you don't need to go to every single page and connect you'll directly be able to use this and it will be connected to every single page automatically and this rainbow kit provider is like directly given to us by uh, you know uh, the rainbow kit and this is from wagmi config and these props are passed props are basically this wagmi client is this wagmi client is just like you know we first imported here right then this wagmi client is given to us so we have all the working functions and this wagmi client is given to wagmi and all the chains are given to the rainbow kit provider so uh, this is all the explanation and this is the simple conclusion that's all uh, and see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching uh,